So today we're in the world headquarters of Curse of Learning, courtesy of the coronavirus. Homeschooled. <laughs> <laughs> Homeschool edition. So we're going to learn how to, to do the first three letters in the alphabet. And to help us out, do these lines. Now, each one of these, forget the dotted lines there, is one line on your notebook paper. All right? Mm -hmm. So you're using two lines of your notebook paper. Yeah. Okay? So the first letter we're going to do, and you have a sheet just like this next to you, is A. So you start at the top. Mm -hmm. That's an A. Okay. It's more oval as opposed to a circle, just so you know. So a little a, A's are easy. So the little a, so you start at the top, come down, make a small loop, and then end to the right. And you want to make sure you end on an upward swing, because remember the goal of cursive is to never lift your pen off the paper when you're writing a word. So. You have to look at the end of each letter as the connecting point to the next letter. Mm -hmm. Okay? So for a B, we're going to be doing start up here. Now, your sheet just shows a straight line down. I like to stylize it a little bit more and start with a swoop up like that. Then, then we continue with the sheet. So you're going down, keeping your pen on the paper, coming back up. Mm. Coming in, and remember, never lift your pen off the paper. Yeah, not. So that's a B. So you start up here, you come down, and then you're basically redrawing that line. You're coming up and you're doing the two Bs, the, uh, the two hoops. And then, you come, and then you come back out because remember, the goal of cursive is connecting to the next letter. So this is the connection point right here. And for a small B, you're starting at the bottom, so you're starting at the connecting point. Yeah. And you're coming up, doing a loop. Wouldn't that be smaller? And there's the connecting point. Do you see? So, just to illustrate the connecting point, if you take a word like building, that's where it connects to the U. So that's why they have connection points. And notice I didn't take the chalk off the board the whole time. So that's A and B. Now we can do C and D. Okay. 
Okay, so C is another easy one. It's base. It's just like a regular C. So I'll use blue for this next part. Okay. So there's C. Woohoo! <laughs> now of sometimes you can stylize the C to come like that. I like that. So generally, when I when I do a C. I'll stylize it. That but you need to make sure. The C's so confusing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to make sure you want to keep that loop tight because it could be confused for a lowercase e. So that's why you want to make sure if you're going to do a stylization on the C instead of just a C, um, that you make sure it's bigger than the lowercase letters. Yeah. Yeah, if, yeah, out like that. So for the lowercase c, because it's a lowercase letter, it's going to be connecting to the letter before it. So you start with the connection point, which is down low. So that's, uh, you're starting down low. And really, So one more time with the C. Hold on, hold on. I'm doing... That's a C. Hold on. I see. Ha ha ha. Well, that was C. Thing for the C. It's yeah, not, well, it's not very confusing. <laughs> it's not confusing, but like I said, you don't want it confused for a lowercase e because it makes for a very different word. Like cat could be e, right? Yeah. Like in, in, you it, get cat confused be for e. Yeah. Oh, e. e. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so now we'll do a D. Yeah. D, hold on, I dropped my pencil. Okay. Okay, so D, you're starting at the top. Yeah, you go like, woo. So you're gonna, you come down straight. Oh. <laughs> okay. Then you loop around, and then you make the big D. Oh. That's an easier way than I saw it. And this up here. That's the curve to go to into the next letter. Yes and no. With the D, generally you're going to lift off because the connecting point's so high. That you could only do it with like O's and A's. Yeah. So, you know, if you're writing dog. You really can't get down to the connection point of the O. Unless you want to like go full on like. <laughs> so D is. A capital D is generally a, a lift-off point yeah. to get to the next letter. I see, I see. Okay, so that's sort of the idiosyncrasy with D. Now, the lowercase d is not like that. It has a starting connection point and an ending connection point. So with the D, you start down low. Then you do, and then you end low. So this is the... This is the lowercase d. So remember, these are the two lines on the paper. The line between the two lines is the imaginary. You told us that at the beginning. I know. I just want to uh, refresh for those not following along. Yeah, those so that, not following along. That, that's a lowercase d. Okay. So we'll move to e, and then we'll practice all the letters same time. So here we go. We'll do our lines. So for the uppercase E, um, there are different ways to do it. The particular sheet we have is sort of 
the lazy man's, you know, quick, and the yeah. connection point of the. Look at style eyes that, like, by doing the curve thing, like going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually with my ease, I'll do a lift off. So I'll do I'll go like that just to make it look prettier. I like the other way. But the cor the correct way to do it is this way so that you can connect and not lift off. I'm gonna make it the fancy version, so like this. There you go. Yeah, you can do a little loop. Fancy. <laughs> So a little e, you start with the connection point from the previous letter, which is always usually down low. There are some instances like with O's that it's up high, but for the E, and D's. D's down low. That because remember that's a D. Oh, I, oh, I thought you were talking about uppercase. No, this, we're going to do lowercase e. It's real simple. So you have the connection point from the previous letter, the connection point to the next letter, and just the loop to make the E. It's just like a loop. It's just a loop. Is it oh, it's on the bottom line? So Are again. You okay? You okay? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I just my foot bumped this too. Oh. So again, that is uppercase. Lowercase. Lowercase. So for the C e, and the E so far were the easiest ones to tell. So yeah, yeah. so um, to practice sort of uh, the first few letters that we've done, we have we've already done two of the letters in the word eat or e at as I said earlier. <laughs> so <laughs> the letter uh, B is confusing. So for eat, so you can see the connection points and how they work. That's the A, and then the T. So connection point, connection point, connection point, and then connection point. But there's a connection point. There's no thing to go. But you see, there you have the connection point here, so you could say E to re. E to re. And you have connection point, connection point, connection point. Looks like your shop fell off the chessboard. So that is uh, A, B, C, D, and D. F, G, H, H, oh. So in the next lesson, we'll do F. Part one. <laughs> F part one. <laughs>